डॉक्टर गोटू मुक्कला अच्युता रामराज First of all, greetings from Visakhapatnam. And uh, for me, West Bengal always has a happy place. And my association with some of the society talks, even though they're infrequent, are fascinating. And I was very happy to receive this invitation about the, the role of endometriosis and infertility. In this uh, 15 to 18 minutes talk, I'll be taking you through the journey of endometriosis and how, as an embryologist, with changing times and changing technology and the role of artificial intelligence, the embryologist should transform themselves as knowledge workers. If they don't transform themselves into knowledge workers, then there might be a situation where technology will replace you. Because as I shown in the preliminary video, the time lapse is integrated with artificial intelligence and the embryo assessment has been taken away from the embryologist for the present. And interpreting the, the information has been taken away but the basic fundamentals of the pathophysiology of reproduction, if that knowledge is there, then you become a knowledge worker and you'll be able to compete your skills with the technology skills. That is, that is what I wanted to show in this lecture and as we go through this lecture. Endometriosis affects every part of the reproduction. We only think it affects only the ovary. It affects follicular genesis and early embryonic development. And depending on the stage of the endometriosis, it affects that. Then it affects the uterine receptivity and the utero-placental interface. More so at stage three, where the implantation date is low. And then it affects the placental developmental formation and the fetal developmental for formation during the pregnancy. So endometriosis starts from the ovary, goes to the uterus, goes to the baby, and, and produces inefficiency of reproduction. So unless we understand this dynamics, our management might be an incomplete management and then we might not get an optimum result. Lot of times you might be wondering, why did my boss did a surgery? Or why did my boss did not do a surgery? When you get in your collection tube, an endometriotic fluid, there are benefits of surgical treatment and there are, there are risks of the surgical treatment. And here, uh, when in this beautiful graph, you see, I'll be speaking about, if you do a surgery of endometrioma prior to acid reproduction, one is you have create a surgical risk of bleeding. You impair the ovarian reserves, and sometimes with excess use of artery, you might give, or you might receive as embryologist, less number of oocytes, incomplete surgery, and then also, there is a learning curve by the gynecologist and a potential delay of acid reproduction. But if you don't do it also, there are negative aspects. The disease progresses. They can be, as the cyst increases, there can be follicular contamination of the endometrioma. The complication of infection at the time of egg pickup. The need for higher dose of gondotrophins. The need for cyclic cancellation and difficult to set retrieval. So when it comes to endometriosis, never judge anything that this is the perfect way because it's a risk benefit analysis that the clinician does it. And as your knowledge goes in, 
if you are able to give feedbacks in the thing, then we might produce a better result to the patient who is the primary person. And one should be aware of staging of endometriosis so that what happens is when the result does not come in, there's no blame game between the clinician, the embryologist, the lab, because we know if it's the advanced stage, we should expect moderate pregnancy. If it's the earlier stage, we should expect better stimulation protocol. So understanding endometriosis staging is an important for, for embryologists. And more so, as you see in the next slide, there is an important concept, which one should, even though the data is not there, you can also, from the embryology lab, if you're dealing with endometriosis suicide retrieval, you should look at the patient, what age was she, when was she operated, and what was the recurrence rate. Then you know that you have a combination of a prolonged marital life, you have, a, you have a pathology which reflects inflammation, which is older inflammation. And this endometriosis fertility index gives a graph, the natural fertility, and also makes you understand and look at the oocyte from a scientific point of view. And if somebody is, has more curiosity, looking at the AFA endometriosis fertility index score and in turn look at the oocyte quality, that becomes an interesting study, which does not involve extra investment or extra time, but the curiosity of the embryologist, which in turn adds value to the scientific community. The role of laparoscopy in endometriosis are two things. A primary laparoscopy, which is called the staging and the treatment laparoscopy, and if there is a recurrence of endometrioma, the role of second laparoscopy comes only in two situations where you do the second laparoscopy for pain management or the endometriosis is producing a rectal problem or a uretic problem, that means the symptomatic endometrioma. And mind you, the current data does not show a second laparoscopy improves fertility. So always, always look at whether the patient has a primary laparoscopy or multiple laparoscopies. That in turn affects what type of genetic material you get in the laboratory and what is the intensity of the problem. And then analyze your results when you're looking at the endometriosis from an embryologistic perspective. The, if you are looking at surgery and then if it is an older woman, then you have age as a factor, then male factor, ovarian reserves and tubal st status. All these are perfect, then there's a role for primary surgery. The most important thing in endometriosis, which the current literature has awarded over a time, is a concept called time to pregnancy. And the role of conservative management comes in only when these criteria are met, that means the woman is young, there's no male factor, the ovarian reserves are adequate, and the tubal status is perfect. That's the only place surgery plays a role. All other places, the concepts and evolving are moving to assisted reproduction and a child as early as possible, which I'll mention in the next slide. The most important, like I mentioned, is time to conception. How long? from the time she has come in, from the diagnosis of the problem to a, to a child in endometriosis, the time to conception is important because the more you delay, the more the advanced disease comes in and more the chances come down with the associated endomyosis. So always remember how long was the problem diagnosed and then do a failure analysis in those patients, which will make a lot of sense as you analyze your data. Then the next thing is, we always think endometriosis only at the oocyte level, but it also has effect at the sperm level in a normal situation, at the oocyte level, at the junctional zone, 
at the embryo transfer level and i will come come from the embryo transfer level and if there is an endometriosis and a deviation of uterus your colleague or the I mean, the gynecologist might have difficulty in embryo transfer so discussing with the embryo with the clinician that there is a potential issue of transfer difficulty so that a precaution saves a difficult situation because as embryologists and clinicians the embryologist will be doing an analysis part the clinician might be coming from an op or an hec pick up and then try to do an embryo transfer your feedback of the type of uterus anticipating might add value to the clinician if the clinician is receptive to your ideas because reproductive medicine is one field where if the results are there the credit goes to the team but not to the team leader the team leader is only the face of the organization that's the most important thing you should, and when it comes to uterus as more and more information is coming in the role of junctional zone plays a major role this is the junctional zone earlier it was not visible in conventional ultrasound and only in adenomyosis cases you are able to look at gross junctional zone thickness of 10 mm and above but now data is coming in a large junctional zone will also impair the implantation and the embryo quality will depend on the sperm and the oocyte and the age so in a natural conception you have the role of uh, il6 in the peripheral fluid but in terms of reproductive medicine or in the ivf lab if you are looking at an iui you should look at that both the sperm uter ovary and the the uterus are affected by endometriosis so when you analyze the results or so select the patient for an iui remember that the il6 might impair the pregnancy outcome and the role of conservative treatments are there only for grade 1 or stage 1 and stage 2 endometriosis stage 3 and stage 4 need a quicker resolutions and a more efficient solutions those should be done similarly apart from the mechanical disturbances the interleukins also affect the e1 levels and not much study has been done only recently the role of aromatase inhibitors are coming in and the role of follicular fluid steroids is coming in where they found that the endometriotic follicular fluid has a slightly different profile compared to a non endometriotic follicular fluid in the area of steroidogenesis and potentially they might become markers in future so the message is it affects the sperm and that will affect you when it is when you are doing an iua process it affects the simulation protocol at the molecular level both in terms of function and also in number and also in terms of age it also affects the endometrial receptivity but the work is very very preliminary and more work is bound to come and era test in endometrial receptivity for endometriosis there is a lot of misunderstanding the reason is era is a good test but it will assess only the endometriosis and the role of progesterone and the size of the implant implantation window but not every gene that is associated with endometriosis so remember when you are doing an era test for endometrial receptivity look at tell it's only telling about the window of implantation but not about the upregulated or downregulated genes of endometriosis or endometriosis pathology that's a message i want to remember the other thing is this is a beautiful slide in four colors the orange the green the light blue and this is from the classic lancet article where they have introduced a concept called emergency ivf that means don't waste time then 
remember time to concepts is important and there they suggested infertility workup in endometriotic patient measure the ovarian reserves if the reserves are lower advise ivf and then if the reserves are adequate then the role of seminal analysis comes in and there is no male factor then the assessment of tube comes in and then once you are able to pull this fulfill this reddish orange column then only the role of surgery comes in but there it comes with the caveat that you can wait between 6 to 18 months for a spontaneous pregnancy and if there is no pregnancy you have to take action so the green line green things are the criteria for surgery the the below mark of 6 to 18 months is how long can you wait and even though there is a, there is a male factor or ovarian reserves the exception for rule of not a surgery is a severe pelvic pain hydrosalpings and large endometrioma once you have decreased reserves for abnormal analysis abnormal tube or after surgery she has finished 6 to 18 months there is a role for ovarian suppression and then going for stage reproduction this we have been following for the last 10 years and i'll show you the article i want every member to read this article which was published in lancet in 2010 endometriosis and infertility pathophysiology and it is highly quoted and it gives a beautiful experience and understanding what are the impact of endometriosis on stage 1 and 2 not much change stage 3 and 4 it impacts ovarian reproduction by producing less oocytes lesser implantation lesser carry home baby weight but the data shows ovarian reproductive procedures does not increase the incidence of endometriosis a newer concept that is being proposed is as more career women comes in the role of fertility preservation its role comes in bilateral endometrioma in young women with a previous surgery not planning a pregnancy like onco fertility fertility of the endometrial patient of oocyte is an important concept and should be discussed if the woman is not planning a pregnancy in a career woman but the career the pregnancy rates are good provided you do it in the right time and i thank you for giving me an opportunity and i'm not sure whether the questions are now or at the end of the session either way i will be delighted to answer any questions that are there and i thank the chairmen and the organizing committee for giving me this opportunity to participate and the association of clinical embryologists i admire that organization of the wonderful conferences they do and i feel happy and if they can if i can do anything to them in any way they can feel free to ask me thank you very much